Hey guys, so with the recent updates, Tesla has been making changes to the autopilot system and how it works. There is now a very clear message to keep your hands on the wheel as soon as it's activated and the monitoring system is extremely strict now, making sure that you are attentive at all times. So things such as looking at your phone, staring at the screen, or just not paying attention to the road will definitely trigger the system right away. On top of that, Tesla has implemented a five strike rule to the system, meaning that if you do disobey, you will be suspended from using autopilot for the entire week. If this is fair or not, I can't really say, but many of you guys have reached out to me about your frustrations over autopilot and the recent changes and how it really affects your daily drives now. And although this update was simply to comply with NHTSA in the US, Tesla has decided to push this out all over the world, meaning that every single one of our cars are now affected. What I've been hearing is that the system is simply too cautious and and that it's even giving false strikes when you are paying attention to the road. And in many scenarios, you will be blocked from using autopilot for seven entire days simply because you are adjusting the temperature or the camera on the inside of your car is a little bit blocked. This could be extremely frustrating for you guys that use autopilot on your daily commute and especially during rush hour on the highways. I am expecting Tesla to fix this and turn down the knob a little bit on the sensitivity even while complying to NHTSA regulation and request. Fingers crossed that this happens fairly soon and that it happens in the next week or so. All right, now on to the next big thing here that came alongside the NAG autopilot software update. And this has to do with another feature that will completely disable that part of your car if you do update. Tesla has lately been cracking down on third party accessories that are put into their cars. Things like autopilot buddy has been completely patched ever since that last software update. And now Tesla took it up another notch and alongside the software update to comply with NHTSA and the autopilot, Tesla has also patched the premium audio system inside of the Model 3 SRs. Now this will also apply to the newer Model 3 base and the new Model Y as well. If you do have a sound system that is not the premium audio, you will be affected in the software update. After the latest firmware update, you will notice that your speakers may sound a little bit quieter with less clarity. This is because Tesla has patched the premium audio unlock that third party companies have been able to unlock. Lock. So unfortunately, the immersive sound that you're going to get from those additional speakers that have been turned on are now going to be cancelled, meaning that Tesla has really cracked down on every aspect of the car. So if you are someone with these kits installed, I would highly recommend holding off from updating your car as long as possible. At this point, we don't know for sure if these third party companies are going to be able to do anything to circumvent Tesla's patch. But what we do know for sure is that this would eventually become a cat and mouse game and the outcome is going to be that Tesla will win. Now the true unfortunate thing is Tesla's sound system is really incredible and I really wish they added it in all models and all trims rather than just the higher ones. As prices of parts eventually goes down, I do see a future where Tesla adds all the premium features and especially the premium audio inside of the standard range cars and this is where you guys will be able to experience everything incredible that Tesla has to offer. So yeah, fingers crossed for that and this pretty much should wrap it up for this video. There is going to be a ton more I want to share about the Model 3s and Model Ys coming up. So make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, that bell notification if you haven't already done so. And follow me on X at HeyJohnE. Over there you guys can get some stuff that you won't be able to see here as well. And on top of that, if you guys want to support this channel and continue keeping it sponsor and product ad free, make sure you guys head over to my Patreon page. I just opened that up. Over there you guys can chat with me 24 seven as long as I'm not asleep and I will be opening up a discord channel very soon. This is where we can all collaborate and talk about all the updates, latest news and everything that's happening on the spot. I'll drop a link in the description below and if you guys have a moment, check it out. There is a free to join button as well. So hit that if you guys aren't ready to support the channel just yet. Anyways, this should wrap it up for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. A lot more to come. This is John once again. Peace out.